Hello and welcome back to Rail Routes, where we'll be managing an ever-growing network of trains for this year's Steam Puzzle Fest. Now today we are going to be expanding on the network we built in our last episode with the hope of automating it all in this Rail Tycoon Sim. And if this is something that does interest you, make sure to check out the link in the description below to Steam, where you can currently get a massive 20% off. Also a huge thanks does go to the Rail Route devs for sponsoring this video. But first, let's do a quick recap. We started in Glasgow where we commenced building our first train network, which quickly grew to a small enterprise and was ready to expand to new stations where we could start automating the whole system until we had a disastrous train crash and were kicked off the force. Thankfully, I've now returned and I think we can stop this happening in the future by adding a few signals here and there. But before we continue on with our endless playthrough, I did want to quickly go over the game modes that they have here. The first thing we have is timetable, which gives you an already built up network which you have to organize and manage the trains for. If you can't handle it, if there are any crashes, game's over. We also have Endless, which is the map that we're currently doing, which is where we're building our own network from scratch. And we have Rush Hour as well. Rush Hour gives you a limited amount of connections, such as railways and then signals, in order to manage waves of trains that come on. As you can see, we've got several here. And if you do not clear these quick enough, you'll find that you very quickly lose the game. The other thing that I want to mention, you may have m seen that there are a load of maps. While well, you can actually add your own map and produce it yourself using the in-game editor, they also have the Steam Workshop connected so that you can download some more maps that are player made. And there's also mod.io that's also enabled with update 11. But that's enough of that. Let's get over to our save again and jump back into Glasgow. And here we are back on the map. So you can see we've got steps over here that we have yet to use. We have Cumbernauld, which is um, definitely in use at the moment, Bridgerton and Easter House. And the crash happened down here because we had no signal along this part. And we had, I believe, a freight train come through here, by which point it was too late. So we are going to start off with adding an auto signal along here and this will force our trains to only enter this segment or we could do with adding one there as well we will only be able to queue trains up in this section if this is air empty so i'm going to start off now we're going to make sure that all of this runs smoothly as you can see here and then expand this a little bit more what we do need to do however where are you going Cumbernauld 3. Perfect. We do need to unlock a load more of these. So we have various contracts that we can get, such as the intercities. This will give us more red trains, which is going to be really important because you can see they're quite uh, experience hungry for all of these types of contracts. So for that, we are going to have to unlock them and we're going to have to save up a lot of resources in order to unlock some of these. So don't mind me as I skip ahead, but once we're in a position that we're quite comfortable with, I will show you what we've managed to do. And as you can see, this has progressed a little bit since the last time you saw it. Uh, we have a fair bit of experience points. We've also got several freight trains that we're using to just farm the red points for us. And we're, we're keeping the two platforms at the top of Cumbernauld and the two at Newton free specifically for the uh, freight trains so that we get those red points. But I've also noticed that if you um, hold shift while you click on the auto signal to a station, you get this little unlimited um, passing. So as soon as a train passes through this section, it will open it up to the next one. So that's really useful if I'm automating this. So this train is going to go straight to here. And then once this one's left, it's automatically going to pass through. But that is not the only thing I have just unlocked or I have enough points, I should say, to unlock our first sensor, which, which from my understanding, 
Um, if we buy this, watch, I won't be able to afford it. We'll place the arrival signal here. Hmm, invalid configuration. I'm going to have to spend a hot minute working this one out. I'm going to watch the tutorial. Thankfully, they have plenty of tutorials for these. The arrival sensor routes trains to the platform of a station. The sensor is built into the track and is activated by any train that goes over it. So here we can build an arrival sensor. And then the arrival sensor must be configured via its detail panel. Okay, here we go. So we need to select an auto signal. And then we need to... S oh! How interesting. So that's how you get it to work. Let's bring some trains in. Oh, well, that is fabulous. See, these tutorials are so much better at explaining these things. I feel that we can go straight in now and make that work in our save. So let's continue. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to add that signal. Now we need to add a station and hopefully it will auto sort, but there's only one way to find out. Hopefully that one will go to number four. We can send this one out. The next one will go up to here and hopefully if we click here, the next one will need to go to Cumbernauld three and then the one after that Cumbernauld four. We've automated this. So hopefully this will work for us. Yes, that was the right station. Oh, I'm really chuffed at that. That was so simple. The next thing now that we've unlocked another five experience points is we're going to get the departure sensor. And I'm going to, I'm not going to watch the, the tutorial. Let's see if we can work this one out. So if we grab our departure, oh, it's expensive. We've got just enough for one. Um, I think given that this is the one that all the trains come through, we should place it on here. Right, and then this we connect with that. This is root table. Oh, wait, so this has just added us, uh, given us a rule, I presume. So if we click on here, we add a root table and the select destination is the train station. So for example, this one would be Cumbernauld, and then we choose the destination, so it will be here. If we have another train and we want it to go to Easter House, then we will just click here. And then if we have another, and we select the destination as Newton, then they will go, let's add Oh, we have no money. Well, we can, we can do it there for now. So hopefully the next train that comes through here will be sent directly. Yeah, moment of truth. Yes. Oh, we've worked it out. We have. So the next one will hopefully go straight to station four. Oh, that is good. We need to save up a load of money now because it's going to be super expensive to upgrade. My main goal is to set up this section of track uh, so that we can start bringing trains in in this direction so that we can use steps to Queen Street or Spring. Oh dear, I totally forgot about this one. We're probably not going to get the points for that. 23 oh no we've got plenty of time we've got plenty of time at this point we have managed to automate this section of the map we still need to do this top one and also down here i'm extending down to the bottom at shorelands at the moment so that we can take on some more freight contracts but we do need a lot more experience points so at the moment it's coming down to saving a lot more money so that we can upgrade our tracks and get the more expensive ones because at the moment we're not making a lot of money this is this is the next one that i want which we can potentially do now. If we extend that 
to that. Let's just check. Okay, we can bring this one in now. It's just passing, which is fine. So this will go down to here and then straight down to there. Perfect. Goodness me, we are getting there. We are getting there slowly. Ah, oh, yes. I mean, it was running smoothly. We've also got this section working now within reason. We still need to automate it a little bit more. But uh, I wasn't happy with how this was working because some trains were taking this lower section in order to leave here. Thinking about it, I could have just pushed this back again. Funny thing, hindsight. Instead, I scrapped this whole area and I'm reworking it now. So the solution here... Yeah, oh, I don't know why I didn't think about that. The solution all along was just to place a signal here and a signal here. And that way all of these trains would go via this section. Yeah, here, this station, the trains would go to this section. This train would open this section up. This one goes over to here. My only concern is that because this is... Hmm. Concern here is that because these sections are uh, essentially saving the track for themselves that we won't be allowed any trains through. So for example here, this train would go here. Where are you going to? Station 3. This train won't move because of this. <gasps> oh, I've done a boo-boo. Oh dear lord, no, 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 no. What is the solution? I think... I think I've worked it out. We've just sent that one there. This one's now going across to here. Do we have a freight train coming? Oh, we do. Fantastic. So the next freight train will hopefully reroute to Easter House. Yes. And then we just need one that's going to... Oh, we've got a while to wait for the Newton one. The only thing is, we don't need the signal here. Because as soon as they clear this station, they're going into this section. Fantastic. Oh, next thing I need to do is just make sure that these are all good. Put the exit there. Train's coming into this one. Great. We're going to need some more contracts, but before we do that, I need to have enough money to afford a few more signals. But I'm pretty happy with what we've got on the go now. Oh, and here is the green one, and it's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. Well, I have to say, after a, a lot of time working on our systems, we've uh, unlocked a load of the stuff. We still have a little bit to go for these two uh, sensors. I'd like to play around with them, but unlocking another 60 red experience points is going to take us quite a while. But we have managed to automate this whole section here and this whole section here. And we also have a train that comes through, in fact, I think a couple of trains that go through to Cumbernauld and back. So it's been really interesting getting everything running smoothly and I'm so pleased that we've done it. But we are going to leave it there for this one. If you did like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. And of course, a huge thank you does go to the devs for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to play this game. I absolutely love it. Guys, while it's on offer, you should definitely check it out on Steam. It's 20% off currently and it's well worth it. I already have about 20 hours in the game just because I can't get enough of trying to automate all of these circuits. It's so easy to lose your time to it. And it's one of those games that's perfect for if you're just wanting to enjoy 
chill, relax. But we are going to leave it there. Special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our Solo Clips patrons, James Irwin, Fireflesh, and Treble, as well as our Lunas, the Calamity, Ben, Star, Shoku, the Emon Wolf, and that dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Viking Brit. Until next time, as always, ciao for now. <laughs>